today as a speaker, I'm going to be speaking on how to put your health in your own hands to the audience. I think it's really important for anybody, whether you are a, a patient, whether you are a caregiver, just anybody out there to know that it's important to be an advocate in our healthcare system or in any healthcare system because it's complicated and it's overburdened. And a lot of people feel that perhaps that they shouldn't be asking questions or uh, they shouldn't be sort of taking an active role, but it's actually been shown that this is actually really important. And at the end of the day, by collaborating and connecting with our healthcare teams and our healthcare professionals, it's not only a benefit to ourselves, but it's actually a benefit to the healthcare system. And this is through my own personal experience as a patient that I actually learned this myself. And it's, it's not an easy task to be doing. So I'm hoping that my own patient journey can inspire others to put their health in their own hands. So eight years ago, I was diagnosed with a non-malignant brain tumor. And six years ago, I had brain surgery when my brain tumor doubled in size. And about two years after my surgery, when I was able to get back on my feet, I wanted to look for a way to connect back into the Brain Tumor Society and be able to give back. And that's when I found the Brain Tumor Foundation of Canada had an opening in the Brainwave program. And that's a program which looks at to ways to help families that have children with brain tumors. And so I'm in the Vancouver, the BC uh, area, and I work on the Brainwave Committee there. And it's just a fabulous way of being able to give back into the brain tumor community. So that's why I'm here today. Uh, through the program, where we basically run events, uh, a way that families can come and connect with each other, support each other, and we share all the Brain Tumor Foundation of Canada's resources, whether it's a pediatric handbook, uh, various other resources that the Brain Tumor Foundation of Canada has, we share that at the events. Um, but really what it ultimately is, is ways for those families to be able to step out of their really busy, hectic lives where it may be full of doctor's appointments, medications, and all those things, and step out of it just for one day and just be a family with the siblings and have fun and connect with other families that are in a very similar situation. I'd say firstly thank you for the opportunity to be here today because I think it's awesome that they are able to invite volunteers and bring them here firstly for training which is what they did because that's inspiring to me as a volunteer and then secondly at the conference today to be able to have great amount of topics. There have been some fantastic speakers just in the morning, like Judith John. I'm a huge uh, advocate of hers. She's she's great to speak to the topic of having patients um, as, as people and not just a statistic and a number. And I think for the Brain Tumor Foundation of Canada, all the, the people there who work there are passionate. They are determined and committed to the cause that they work towards. And I think that that's great. So I would just, I hope they continue doing what they're doing on a daily basis, which I know they will a very scary moment to be in and I remember that you feel like your world just shuts down to like a pinpoint uh, I think the first thing is is try and open up and and reach out because you're not alone and I know the Brain Tumor Foundation of Canada is a big advocate of that and that's why we're here today is you, you're not alone um, reach out to a support group whether it's online whether it's in person because no matter how supportive your family is and the people around you and your family and friends uh, being able to walk and talk to somebody who's walked in the same shoes as you is, is really critical so I think reach out connect with people can communicate with them um, and just know that you're not alone even though it might feel like you are.